see we're um getting rid of all the christmas stuff and uh we're just cleaning up for the new year so uh we're being very productive and uh everything is going well today and who let you out of your box get back in your box this isn't your time you got one more year get back in your stinking box where did he go where'd he go well i guess it's all good i don't have any time for any of that christmas ma Christmas magic. Um, this is weird. Stop doing that. All right. Enough of this. Oh. <clears throat> where are you going with those lights, Mo? I don't know. Hey, where's Elf on the Shelf? I don't know. All right. I guess nobody knows. And you left, you're leaving balls everywhere, man. You're leaving, you're leaving balls. Is this a chocolate ball? Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some, some, some. Ooh, it is a chocolate ball. Ooh, chocolate ball internet. Oh, wow. I love you, boy. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm, baby. Ooh. Hi, Ernest. How is it going? How's your New Year going? How is your Christmas? How is your Kwanzaa? How is your Hanukkah? Is everything cool? Did you get everything you wanted from Santa Claus? I hope you did. Isn't this really annoying when someone talks with a mouthful? Yeah. Really unprofessional. Anywho, um... I'm out of water. <clears throat> uh, how are you? How is everything going? Sorry for the weird intro. Um, it's been oh now it's starting to rain. Well that's good. Um, it's uh, kind of a weird day <laughs> today. Sorry, I'm off completely off track. We've been cleaning a lot upstairs. We just took down the Christmas tree. Um, doing a little uh, New Year's cleaning, pulling out old bins and. Replacing, replacing, getting rid of old stuff and just old junk we never use and throwing it away and just making sure we have space. And um, yeah, it's just something that we we need to do and we just we've gotten to it and it's just sort of um, I don't know, it's taxing and it's uh, time consuming, but it's good. It's it's a good thing to do. But um, my year's New Year is going fine. Oh, this is really wet, isn't it? My year, New Year is doing really well. Um, I got no complaints. Um, my work is fine. Um, yeah, the New Year's is just another day for me, man. There's no, uh, there's no point to it. So why don't we get right straight to it? Um, I don't have a bill for you guys today, but excuse me, I wanted to show you something that I got from First Fridays. Now you're probably asking yourself, hey, Windshed, what's First Fridays? Well, First Fridays is every First Friday in Oakland along, um, I know you can't see anything when I put it up to the screen, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> First Fridays is a art um, show or gallery thing. I don't know what to call it. It's like an art walk. You walk around and you look at different studios and you check out different art. Um, it's called Art Murmur uh, or, or Oakland's First Fridays. And what's the cool thing about Art Murmur is, um, excuse me, the studios that show off their art, they also serve booze. So you can just walk around and get like really cheap shots of booze and like just look at cool art and actually buy art. And I wanted to show you some art that I actually picked up. It's functional art. First, I got it. The company is called uh, Chalwa. Uh, C-H-A-L-W-A-H. Lifestyle brand. Chalwa Pipes. I don't know if you can read that. I don't know if you can see that. But they specialize in seashell pipes. Let's just do a little quick pan of their back of their card right there. Maybe that can be a screenshot. You can pause it right there. Uh, they're called Chawa Pipes, um, and uh, they have an Instagram which I'll push. I'll put down in the down there, and uh, they're a pretty cool place. And so I went to their booth and I picked up this guy, a little bamboo piece. Isn't that really neat? And you're probably asking yourself, "Oh wow, that's probably pretty expensive." But not really. It was only twenty bucks. I was quite surprised. Um, 
20 bucks for their bamboo pipes and it's got a nice little screen in there as you can see and this thing's a pretty much a, a straight shot and what's really cool is that they engraved Chawa I don't know if you can see that right, right there along the pipe on the front end right there I don't know how well you can see that but um yeah, it's a really cool place. Uh, runs by some uh, very laid back. I would I would assume by their accents, Rastafarians. Um, well, the no, Rastafarians is not an ethnicity. Jamaicans, I should say. Um, yeah, they're really nice, and I was very surprised by their their prices. And I really like this piece. Well, I had my fiance pick out one. It's really nice with the little black bleeding into the blonde on the top there. I think it's really neat. So why don't we take this for a test toast and see how this thing does? Um, how is everything with you? And they also give you extra pipe cleaners, which is awesome. And they also gave me some extra screens. How nice of that. Oh, 20 bucks. Pretty freaking good for art because I don't know if you guys have ever been to like an art walk or like a, a renaissance fair or a Dickens fair or something like that. Or some sort of like fair where they serve like, you know, crafts and like art and like local artists and art. It's always super overpriced and it's like not really that good. Like... I mean, the quality might be, like, really nice, but I'm not going to spend, like, a hundred bucks on, like, a fucking wooden cup. Like, no, that's not... No, I don't care how artsy-fartsy it is. I don't care if it's infused with pixie dust fart. I don't... I'm not going to buy it. Like, I'm not... I'm not going to do it. Like, that's just way overpriced, and I don't... I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. And speaking of overpriced stuff, I went over to the Waterfall Wellness Center, which is now merging with Metathrive, which is another um, uh, dispensary company around the city. And I don't know what to think about it because a lot of their Ace are only $50 now. So we're looking at like 1990s prices, like in most of these dispensaries. And I don't know if that means because of the legalization that went through, they're trying to jack up the prices or something like that. I don't know. So... It's kind of disconcerting. I'm kind of waiting to see where the club is going to go, if it's going to expand or lower their prices. But, like, they were selling a $20 grant, a $20 eighth, which is called Star Killer, which is fucking great, which is really amazing. And I also picked up some Berry White Concentrate. I don't know if you can see this too well. We're losing daylight right now, guys. It's getting really dark, and it's supposed to, like, piss down rain in about, couple, in about maybe, ooh, 20 minutes. So, yeah, we're getting gear into that. So that looks really good. That's a nice, like, thick concentrate. And so, like, this was all together, like, 30 bucks. So that's what I want. Like, I'm, I'm a, I keep on stressing this point. I'm an economical smoker. I don't care. I don't want to buy a fucking eighth that's, like, 60 to $50. I'm sorry. I don't want to. You tell me that price, I'm immediately turned off. $35 or $20 an eighth, I'm, I'm right there with you. I don't care if it's C-grade weed. I don't give a shit. It's, it's, it's economical. It's great. I don't, I, why pay more? I don't understand this. Like, I know we're trying to make a profit here and everyone's trying to make their nut, but sometimes it's just like, you got to stop and say like, hey dude, like seriously, does, 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 does this really, really cost, should this really be priced at $50? Because like, if you're like a weekly stoner and like, you're a super stoner and you're burning through like an eighth, like every, I don't know, eight, nine days, that can get really fucking expensive. Like, sometimes, like, people say, like, oh, being a stoner's cheap. Like, no, sometimes not really. Not really, not with these fucking prices. And, like, I don't, like, I don't know. We went, we went over this a couple, a couple of videos back about how I hate snobbery and stuff like that. We're not going to get into that because I don't have much time and we're losing daylight. And I don't know how much this LED light is showing off my beautiful face to you. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, let's get cooking. So we're just gonna pack this bad boy. Um, I really like this pipe because I feel like someone's like grandfather, like sit, sit on the back porch and tell you stories about how I was young back in the day of dinosaurs. So <laughs> it's pretty neat. They had other ones where were made out of like corn cob pipes. Um, they had the shell pipes, which are oh, okay. Um, but I just wanted a straight wooden one like this because like I don't know. I've always wanted one that's just a no no mess around pipe you know it's just a, it's just a straight up pipe and it just you know hits i just want something to something to toke on on the back porch while i'm singing songs to my hound dog and drinking moonshine that's what i want so there we go it's all nicely packed in there you probably can't see shit um i don't know why i keep showing you stuff like that but i do <laughs> um okay guys 
We're going to bombs away on this sucker, and uh, I hope you guys are having a really nice day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful 2017, 2017, 2017. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful new year. I hope everything is going well for you, and I hope you stay dry because uh, we're in for a wet one coming up here, so uh, bombs away. Let me tell you a story, kids, about when I was young. Back in my day, nickels had pictures of bees on them. Bombs away. Oh, there goes the flame. Wow, as advertised. That is great. That is great. That is just no nonsense, no carb, just plug and play, man. I like that again. So I'm trying to, every time you get a new pipe, you always try to fiddle around with it, like what's the best way to hold it. So I kind of like that, but I'm afraid I'm going to burn my knuckle, so let's find out if I do. Nope. That is a nice pipe. That is a nice piece. That is like, Sitting at home in a rocking chair, looking over your land. While your wife's in the kitchen making you some sunshine tea. Oh, delicious sunshine tea. What's sunshine tea, you might ask? Well, that's a story for another time. That's another yarn I'll tell you again. Some other time. Bombs away. Yeah, that is great. Again, Chawa Pipes. Dot, oh, they're on Etsy. So it's C H A L W A H P I P E S dot E T S Y dot C O M. They're on Etsy, Chawa Pipes. 20 bucks. And they had bigger ones that were like 30, like a big piece pipe, you know, honk, honking thing. Um, but pretty cool, man. I suggest you guys check them out. Bombs away, see if we can kill this guy. Ooh. The cool thing is, too, this bowl, it's quite deep. So if you really, really super pack that, like, this thing could probably go around a circle of, like, eight people, and you get, get you pretty good, man. Alright, let's... Empty this out. Uh, there's a still a little bit of green in there. Oh, whatever. Alright, guys. Uh, should we smoke one more before we leave? I think we should. Let's just finish off this, and I'll let you go. Oh, yeah. I wanted to... Uh, something new happened to me. I got kind of super excited over uh, on Monday because I learned that my brother and his wife got ARC for PS4. And you know how I've talked about how much I love playing ARC. So I got really super excited and I was like, oh, I'm going to find you on Steam and I'm going to come play with you and we can be in a tribe together and we'll kick ass and da, da, da. like everything that I've ever hoped for in ARK. Like I've, I, I, I've, I've dreamed of playing with other people, but uh, to my disappointment, I find out you can't cross console things. So PC cannot play with PS4 and PS4 cannot play with PC and PS4 cannot play with Xbox One and vice versa. So, uh, yet again, I am alone on the island. Oh well, we'll persevere. Bombs away. I'll tell you stories. Let me spin ya, spin ya, 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 ya. Let me spin ya yarn while I stroke my cat checkers. Woo, that's a good one. That is a great pipe. That is great. I am very happy with my purchase. It's a good job, guys. It's a good job. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Happy New Year. Oh, Lord. Had myself a railroad, but now it's gone. 
Hey, brother, can you spare a dime?